boy. Bro. You want to get excited? Taroski. Hmm. I feel you, man. One more. One more. One more. One more. Oh, what's up, man? What's up? What's up? What's up? I've been drinking. What did they want you? <laughs> Guy, no, for you. It's me. They, they happy. They happy. What they lose? Why are they talk like this now? I'm not so concerned. Taro, Taro, No, no, wait, hey, 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 wait, hey, wait, wait. No be shark. No be shark. I wait. Honestly, no, no, no. No be shark. No be shark. It's the date now. Yeah, start with something. You don't actually told me anything about this. This new chick, you know, I need to know what she looks like, you know, who she is, her name, and everything about her. Oh, uh, well, 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 well. Taro, mm -hmm. let me tell you the truth, okay? There's no new chick. It's Gladys. Hey! Glad what? Ha! Ha! Let me use my time for something more. Don't come off. See, wait, wait. Taro, Taro, don't misunderstand me, okay? We really had a wonderful time today. Mm -hmm. Honestly, we had a we had we had a beautiful time today, and we we talked, you know, much more reasonably about rekindling the whole thing, and you know, it, it's it's actually working out. Yeah, really. Yeah. See, Frank. You see, this issue about you and Gladys, you know, I was there when it started. I was also there during the breakup. I'm here once again during the reconciliation and reunion. And I know I'll still be there when you come crying that she's dumped you once again because I know it's going to happen. Taro, why did they spoil my mood now? Taro, you my guy. I don't know why they talk like this. You know, wait, wait, you see, you, you just had to be there today. I mean, you, you needed to be there to, to see how we were. You know, you could, you could feel love in the air. You could, you could see the chemistry. You know, you could feel the chemistry and... Yeah, well, I beg, glad this number. I don't know if you're talking. I but my baby, that I beg. Like in those days of heartbreak, right? <laughs> what are you doing now? You, you know what? Just go and take a cold shower. Then when you come back to your senses, you come back so we can talk reality, right? Oh boy, come on, there, I What's going on? Look, hey, hey, hey. glad this number. Anything where you like me, you get out too. Come on, there, my baby. Yeah, the Chris. Hello, Chris. Yeah, I'm good. Divine. When I ask for backup, I mean backup, not back down. Sweetheart, I'm ready to let you. Let's go. Mona! I washed three of my panties last night, put them in the bathroom, and now I can only find two. So, what happened to the other one? First of all, I'd say good morning, my friend. And secondly, I'm sure it's in there, so search. Okay? Meaning? What? Are you trying to say that I don't know what I'm talking about? No, that's not what I meant. I meant maybe it fell off something. You know, just search over and over again. I'm sure you find it. You are not telling me that bullshit, Mona, are you? Listen, you and I live in this house alone. So if anything happens to my property, like my panties, you are answerable to it. Glad I don't wear panties. I wear G-strings. Should I show you? Oh, come on, Glad. I have a recording session this morning and I have to be in good spirits. Besides, I have a guest here. Well, I'm going to search for it, like you said, and God help you and your guest. Let me find it. God help her attitude. <laughs> what? Oh, but that was not our agreement. It was not our agreement. But I gave you the 30%. Oh, come on. I was hoping to pay the, make up the entire payment before the final mix. You know that? Hold on, just hold on. Just ho hold on, let's get this thing straight, eh? Okay, that you accepted 30% initially, but right now you're no longer taking it. Is that what you're trying to say? Oh, come on, Mr. Davis, let me tell you something. Let me Listen to me, let me tell you. You are very, very unreliable. You are reliable. I can't say anything like that. Okay, how do you want my to see me? How do you want her to see me? I'm not taking anything easy. Stop, stop, please, stop. Okay, no, 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 hold on, hold, just hold on. See what I want, eh? See what I want. I want that studio recording rescheduled today. Those songs will be recorded today. Impossible. Impo it's not like that. 
It's a dream, so you need to persevere as you go. Okay? So all you need to do is keep working on it, focus on it. And then with resilience and perseverance, there's no way you're not going to get it. So listen, I need you to snap out of that mood. What you need to do is get into the bedroom and pour that sexy figure into a really nice dress and come out here all and take you out. Okay? Get away from me! What? Mona! Don't, don't you lie to me! She said it all! She said it there! Mona! Get out of here! Mona! Yeah. Did you smoke something? And yours? Uh, well, it's okay. It's okay. I I was just about to add finishing touches to this one so I can hopefully make it ready by tomorrow. Really? Yeah. Oh, good, good. Uh, Frankie, yeah. have you seen Gladys lately? Taro, <laughs> Taro. <laughs> now it. you're talking, man. Now, now you're, you know, you're beginning to feel your brother, man. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. Well, she's fine. She's fine. We we spoke on phone yesterday. And she's really? cool. Yeah. Uh, I saw her today. And guess where I saw her? Where? Maybe an I, as in Gladys, are in a relationship. <laughs> That's body chemistry. Can you see it? Wait, Tar Taro, which, which edition is this? Come on, don't tell me you are blind. It's today's edition. Can't you see it there? Are you blind? <laughs> well, it's alright. You know, my man, shit happens. Some days are like that, you know. You don't have to be gloomy, come on. What's the problem? You know, like those days you used to tell me, uh, if you, you need to see the feelings in the air, emotions in the air. I love Gladys, she loves me so much. And how you tell me? You can feel the body chemistry. I hope you're feeling the body chemistry now. <laughs> body chemistry. I can't be responsible for what other people say. I can only be responsible for what I say. Now Gladys has got a version of things, but that's how she feels. I know how I feel. It is you that I love. Please, let, let us work this thing out. I'm not going to listen to you. All the times I've listened to you, all I ever get is lies. Around white lies. I don't want to hear anything you have to say. Just leave. Go away. <sighs> this is not happening. What? How can you help me walk so well? Alright. Listen to me. This can't be happening. This was going so well and, and now it's going wrong. Please. Alright, just give me one more chance to write the wrong. Okay. Alright, I'll go. Listen, I, I, I just need you to do me one more favor, okay? So, watch, watch your TV tomorrow. Face to face, you know the program, just watch it. I'm going to write all the wrongs. That's one last favor I want to ask. Get out. Go. Just leave me alone. Go away. Go. Baby, this is not right. This is not right. Go away. Listen, baby, listen. Listen. to you my viewers this very hot Saturday as I welcome you once again to this week's edition of the program face to face here on gallery television I'm as usual Sophia your very favorite hostess and here with me is a guest I have been itching to introduce to you here in the studio I have the winner of the just concluded TV reality show how to leave do maybe Michael's Jaja 
Mr. Dumebi, you are very welcome to Face Face. Thank you. Man. You look good. Thank oh. you. So are you, man. Thank you. <laughs> oh, yes. All right. So, Dumebi, now oh, that's that how to leave yeah, he's on face to show face. is over, a lot has been happening. Mm -hmm. A lot has also been heard. You can say that again. <laughs> Most lately is the Gladys Solomon's True Confession that was published in uh, Stars magazine just this Wednesday that just passed, this Wednesday's edition, where she said that both of you were in a very hot seasoning romance. What, what do you have to say to that? How do you, how do you react to it? <sighs> it's a blatant lie. Sorry, the rumor or the interview? Oh, come on. No, that's not true. Okay. It's not a true question. The book project is some fallacy. That's it. It's a lie. Ah, wait, wait, wait. Uh, let's not rush into things here. Are you trying to refute the claims made by Gladys that you people were, both of you were in this hot romance? Well, it's a blatant lie. Let me um, attempt to you know, clear a few cobwebs if you allow me. The scenario is this. The first time um, the article on, on Star um, uh, that had been dubbed True Confession came oh, out, I expected Miss Solomon to go out there and then completely refute it. Okay. But when she did not, I had to go out on a limb to do what I had to do. And that's the present situation we face right now. So, have you contacted her? You have contacted her? As regards to this publication? Well, um, I dare say that I have not, but for very good reasons, if you allow me for the clear the air. Okay. Miss Solomon and I do not share that kind of relationship. You see, she's another ex-housemate of um, HDL. And then what we primarily do is once in a while we call each other, bring each other up to speed as regards our lives and what is happening. But it does not in any way culminate into a romantic relationship. That I can tell you for sure. <laughs> However, I am going out presently with a very beautiful young woman. Oh, and, and really? What? Absolutely. I can see a smile on your face. She, that's what she does. She brings joy to my soul. So, can you tell us she is? Well, it's a private affair. I don't want to blow it out. I, I've learned my lesson. I don't want to go out in the pages of a newspaper. I want to go out for real now. But I'll give you clues. She is tall, dark, very intelligent, phenomenally um, Can you talented. Can you because of this guy? Yeah, she's... Uh, because of this guy that Gladys has been giving me cold shoulders. That's the one I'm because of this guy, Gladys has been playing me. This same guy. Yeah, yeah, some days like that. Shit happens. Now, that one, if I see it in the pages of a newspaper, I'll be Anyway, <laughs> that's it, all right. You won't. You know this game is not playing. Why are you doing now that the problem is getting interesting? Like, like, it gives the ball to say, I'm here from the kitchen. Come on! Right, come on! Come, 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 come! Come see! What do you mean by that? Don't you know me? My friend, get out of my sight! Get out of my sight! Don't you hear me? Do not touch me again. Try and stop me. You may be my class. What was the meaning of that? Meaning of what? Meaning of that crap you just said on TV. He said something that was insulting to my person. I merely replied. Wasn't that what happened? Yeah, exactly. Baby, my girls, how dare you? How could you do a thing like that? Do you know how that could destroy my personality? Sweetie, you have no personality. Oh, you son of a bitch. Did, did you touch me? Did you just stop me? Did you just touch me? Did you just stop me? No, I don't have time for you. Why bitches! Did you talk to me bitches! Like that? Get this ghetto no, garbage out of here. Dispose of where she belongs, alright? In the streets. Dispose of where she belongs. Get your cheese you you smelling perfume out of my house. What are you talking about? I'm useless with this house. Oh, fine, we'll see. Oh, you're still making noise. I've spent enough of this cheap perfume. Get her out of here. I don't think you know what you're dealing with. Who's that one? What do you have to say about what they do to me? Get lost. Find yourself in the fairest streets of hell. Yo, yo, take this cheap thing out of my house. Get your cheap jewelry. Get out. Man, yo, hey, do him out too. You don't want your retirement, eh? Garbage. What the fuck is this bitch, man? Let her bring it on. This is what I like. You are coming in with a 250 naira bad bottle perfume into my house to tell me crap. King side behind, I'll show you.
Yeah, hey, my guy, I'm going I'm going to go in there, distracted, and you come in and settle. Okay, so you okay. want to go in there first? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, but well, you have to make a snap. You know, if she comes here and finds her sister, she's going to be mad. Gladys? I don't know. Do I'm a big boy. <laughs> <laughs> Wipe right. me down. I feel you. One who thinks and loves you might not be the one you love. So confusing. It's a life of twists and turns. Complicating. It's the pain of love. Love is love. Love is love. Oh my god, I saw your Italian TV. It was beautiful! Thank you. I told you. <laughs> okay, I'll do this. It was really wonderful. But hey, do you think you went too far? I went too far? Mm hmm. <laughs> you should know a man goes too far, especially if he loves a woman. Remember? Mm -hmm. I want some tea, can you give me some? Definitely. <laughs> Um, I told you I love you. What's that? Dude, dude, dude. I kill my romance, man. You ready? Yeah, stand inside me. I feel like you're gonna even do the whole thing. Man. But where's the tea? Okay, okay. 
Just eat it. It's not poison. It's food. Why does it look like I have to force you to eat my food? Take. No! See? Tastes good. Ow! Ow! Listen, stop acting up. I know the crappy food you guys eat in that house. Come on, my love. You know I'm a good cook. So? Mm. I'm a good cook too. The salt is much. skills have never been better. What? The salt? Mm. Listen, I oh. measured every salt in here. Oh. Okay, here, 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 here. You should feel better with this. Try the yam. The no. yam is excellent. <laughs> no, eat it! What? My friend, come back here. Come back here. So what am I going to do now? Sit back and watch the baby slip off my hands? Just like that? Into Mona Lisa's backstabbing, treacherous hands? No, this is not good. Oh God, what do I do? I have to fight back. I have to fight back and win him back at all costs. Gladys Solomon. That is exactly what I'll do. Fight back. Yeah, Mona. It's me, Glad. Yeah? How has it been? As in life? Life is good. I was talking about your relationship with them, maybe. Oh! It's nice. Fantastic. Wonderful. Just like a dream, you know? It's been good. Well, you and I know I did not call it out here for pep talks. I know you. I know your urge. I know your driving forces. I know that all you want is just a piece of the cake. A little bit of the 14 million. But, but that I can understand. I mean, you need to improve on yourself sometime. Mm -hmm. What I called you out here to tell you is that, like you know, I've been insulted by the both of you, terribly. And I don't think I deserve that from you. However, Dom and I have a business deal that we have not completed because you're seeming a stumbling block. So I want you out of the way for me to be able to conclude the deal. You're not going to be that ungrateful that you're not going to grant me my request, are you? Of course not, Glad. Of course not. But wait a second. Did you invite me all the way from the house down here to ask me for such... <laughs> such an impossible favor? I mean, you expect me to lease my Dumebi to you for... What did you call it? Oh, a business deal, huh? <laughs> Sorry. I can't. It doesn't seem that serious to you, does it? Of course it doesn't. I mean, Glad, have you forgotten so soon that you were the one who threw yourself at him graciously with the aim of getting something more than the ordinary? I didn't. I love that guy. I am not after his money. I mean, of every other person, I mean, you should know that, Glad. Lisa, you know, I'm impressed. You're really, you're coming up. You know, I mean, you really improved on your lying skills. Well, that is expected considering where you're hanging out. Look, just stop pretending, Lisa, all right? Look, the reason why I called you here is not to engage you in any kind of conversation, but to ask you how much, just how much will be enough for you to lay off Dom, for me to finish what I started. I'm ready to pay you off. Just give me time to finish my business deal and that's it. You can have him afterwards. I don't even need him, I'm sure you know that. I've got a handful. Oh, oh, glad, glad, glad. You never cease to amaze me. You know, Chip, I know you are, yes, but this far, 
I never thought you'd ask me for such. Lease my dumebi to you. Sorry, I can't do that. I mean, that's why you're glad, and that's why I'm Mona Lisa. There's certain things you can let go because of money that I can't. And I think dumebi is part of my priorities, I'll call them. You know something? We have different motives. And I think you know better than standing on my way. You know, Liz, I'm really not upset with you. No, no, I'm not. But I'm so disappointed that I had to drive myself down here, wasting myself, wasting my time on my makeup and stuff to get here to meet you. But I have to leave right now. H right. Hold on, sweetie. Did you just talk about makeup? Yes, I did. I think you look horrible. <laughs> I think that's a compliment come from somebody who doesn't really like me much. <laughs> I should be leaving now. No. I will still have you when I want to. I bet you won't. Trust me. <laughs> Look, I was so dear with you this call. You don't know who you're playing with. <sighs> this inbred. Can you imagine this? can I offer you? Uh, nothing. Nothing. Not even your usual glass of water. Oh. <laughs> Old times, isn't it? But don't worry, I'm fine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Old times, you know, nice memories. <laughs> so, what, you've just come to visit me? Uh, well, I, <laughs> I just visited, but actually I, uh, I visited to correct an impression. You know, I, I was watching the program the, the other day that shit happened and I mean, I was thinking, how could that guy be talking about you? I mean, you of all people, Gladys. Look, Frank, please, don't get me red, okay? No, 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 Gladys, you're not going to get red with me. I should be the one getting red with you. I mean, how, how could you allow yourself? You that I, that I, I love and cherish so much, how could you allow yourself to be so badly insulted by that, that, that beef that calls himself to maybe or whatever? Oh, please. Listen, Frank. I am done with that television hat. No. No, you're not done with it. You're not done with it, okay? Because it has left a lasting impression on you. So don't tell me you're done with it. Uh, Frank. Have you come to insult me? Insult you? Oh, please. Look, baby. Baby, I'm not insulting you, okay? I mean, I, I, I can't insult you. I'm just loving you. Baby, I, I'm just loving you so much. Can't you see? I mean, you, you don't deserve what those guys did to you, what, the, what that, that, that bastard did to you. You don't. Really? Look, I'm sorry, okay? I, I didn't mean to put you through all of that. It's okay. It's okay. I, I just want you to know that I love you. I love you so much and I cherish you, okay? I, I don't care what those guys said. We can go to hell. We can bloody go to hell. I don't care. I love you. I'm sorry, okay. I didn't mean for that to happen. It's okay. Come <laughs> with me. Brown, can I be on to Mona Lisa? I'm afraid she's not around me at the moment. Where is she then? Who are you? I'm her manager. I made her. Are you now satisfied? Give the damn phone to her. 
Hey dude, you really need to watch your tongue. You don't call my phone and it's not that rude. Besides, if you want to talk to her that desperately, why don't you call her phone? I did, but she never fixed my calls. So I said since you're my successful, as in the next guy on the job on the job of humping her ass, maybe I could get on her through you and deliver my message. What did you What was it? Quite simple. Tell her that I won't be too easy to be used and dumped just like that. That for me to have cancelled my contract with Angelica just to have her means so much that I can't just throw away. So she should have a rethink and come back to me because I'm still ready to receive her with unflinching love and, be and better times together than ever. Deliver my message to her. <laughs> you know. Believe me, I thought people like you belong maybe in the middle of your time or something like that. Dude, you've got balls, I give you that one. That you can see all this bullshit on the phone and... <laughs> okay, okay, Mr. Brown. Is that all? No, I have just a piece for you as well. You have a piece for me? Okay. It's the offer. She belongs to me. Alright, retard. I've heard you loud and clear. Finished cooking. I wanted to know if I should serve you as long. The last thing on my mind is food right now. My appetite seems to have taken a flight. However, someone called you. Brown? Brown? The amiable Mr. Brown. What did he say? You didn't come to help me out. I finished washing. You didn't even come to keep me company or even help me. But I forgive you. Should I get you a cup of tea or coffee before I serve your lunch? No. Yeah. No, don't worry, don't worry. Yeah, as in make me a cup of coffee or tea. No, as in I'm fine. Are you sure? I mean, baby, is, is there anything wrong? Is there something you think that should be wrong? Don't come on, I know you. You look dazed. Is there anything you think I should know? Is there something you think I should know? I'm not hungry. You're not hungry. Yesterday you told me Brown called in a tone that's similar to this one you have now. You refused to recall what he told you or why he called you. Why? Why, um... Well, you know Brown, him, Mr. Brown is, um, is somewhat bipolar, if you like. He, he mixes um, tenses up and joins issues. It's, it's hard to decipher what he wants at any given point. I really can't um, recall what he was talking about. You sure there's nothing I should know? You know. Is there something? You think I should know? I didn't think so. Much, in fact, as much as he believes in God. What? Oh, that boy. Come on. 
Wait a minute. I'm actually going to get you through. He actually thinks you're dating? I, I really don't understand where he's getting that from. Okay, fine. I like you, okay? And I just can't help, you know, showing the fact that I really like you. I mean, people cannot be the same. Okay, maybe because I show it at every slightest opportunity, but that's me. And every other person has his own my ways of showing it. So why is mine different? Well, you want me to talk to you, right? Well, if you want my opinion, now is not a good time because, I mean, we're both in the car and I call him. He's mm -hmm. gonna get the vibe something is happening. I understand. Yeah. So, listen, calm down, here's what I'm going to do. Um, you want me to drop you off at your friends, right? Alright, wait, I'll drop you off. I'll call him immediately and I'll have a word with him. And then I'll call you back and tell the outcome. I'm sure I, I can sort things out, okay? Give it. By the way, you look fine. <laughs> you really look good. Thank you. I can't blame you for wanting to protect you, man. I mean, an incredible, beautiful <laughs> girl. Come on. Oh. You're a me, too. So confusing. It's a life of Frank. Let's look at a comparative analysis of the so-called reunion or reconciliation. Oh, 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 oh. Reconciliation. Okay, I mean real reconciliation. Gladys and I are back for good. Whatever, just listen to me. Nothing could be more undignifying than the fallacy that Gladys is back to you for good. She's merely cashing in on your love for her to redeem her self-esteem after the Dumebi's bombshell on the TV. That's the analysis. Nothing could be more rewarding to your one, two, three times of heartbreak than to try as much as possible not to suffer the same fate again. Because if you do, you'll be labeled a fool. Hey, taro, 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 I beg. Ah, see, I, I, I'm still the subject here and, and not an animal. Slow down. Which is if I beg, I beg. I would rather apologize to you over and over again while still hitting the damn nail at its damn head. Look who's talking about coming back to you. Gladys! Frank, let me ask you a question. Had Dunobi fallen for her seductive antics, do you think she would have ever thought in her life to come and knock at this door of ours? No, tell me. Unless, of course, she's coming to compound your self pity. But thank God, Dunobi was a real man after all. And you can be a real man if you listen to me. So, in your candid opinion, what, what do I do? Good. Now you are talking. Play her. I mean, set a very beautiful game with her. Employ all your dribbling finesse. Make her believe you love her. Tell her how much you care and miss her and how much you would want to spend the rest of your life with her. But my friend, my brother, try, try not to fall in love with her again. Because a fourth time of heartbreak could be suicidal, my brother. I bet you. All right, I've heard you. Thank you. Good. I love you, baby. Are you still going back to that painting? Do you feel me? Do you feel the rush of love? Oh, believe me. I'm right inside the house. Not just what you're thinking now. Everything in life has its ups and downs. The one who thinks he loves you might not be the one you love. So confusing. It's a life of twists and turns, complicating. It's the battlefield of love Love is not a lie It's not what you see Love is not a game love is That was a good start I think you should try it again
What? Now listen, giving that mofo any chance will be counterproductive if you ask me. Yeah? Yes, yeah, so you should get on it. Fine. It's now you're talking. Beautiful. Mm. Just keep me posted, alright? Okay. Have a nice night. Here we are. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Yeah, I had so much fun today. Sure? I had a nice time. Are you sure? I'm sure. <laughs> I like that. And you're looking good. Honestly, oh, you're really I? looking sexy. <laughs> Thank you. Not really. Mm, you know, I always look good. <laughs> <laughs> Just for me, right? Mm -hmm. Just for me. Yeah, as long as you'll be a good boy. I mean. Of course. <laughs> of course. Oh. Ah. So. Right now, we go down to business. Okay, I can't wait, I can't wait, I can't wait. I'm just going to tell me. I'll be the way. You know it's my mom, right? I know. Me too. Me too. Ouch! Come on, let's go, baby. Let's wait. Let's wait. Ouch! Stop! I want your listening ear. I want your judgment. Fair judgment. Moon Alice and I have come a long way. We've come through thick and thin. I sacrificed a lot for her. And now she's not treating me fairly. Can you imagine losing an artist as big as Angelica all in the beat to manage Mona Lisa? And in the end, see what I get. Is it fair? Is it fair? Listen, I don't know what you mean by first. Just take your keys and get off my phone. You're humping her ass, aren't you? Dating her? Isn't that cruel of you? Look, is that what you are going to do to intimidate all of us boys out of our girls with your newly found wealth or whatever? Is that? Listen, what is wrong with you? Leave her alone. Let her come back to me. You don't even look good more than I am. You can't even take care of her as I do. You don't even make her scream on bed. I mean, because I have the capacity, I have the ability. Psycho. I'm telling you, we're true people. No, I'm not. But let's face the fact. She loves me more than she loves you. You know that. But it's just you are lucky and miserable wealth, okay? You go ahead and ask her when next you see her who the better lover is. You or I. Ask her and if she will be honest enough, she will tell you that no man has ever and can ever take her to the castle of pleasure that I have been able to... You know what? I, I, I've had enough of this crap, okay? This is absolute bullshit. Believe me. You know what? You need to stop this crap. I think all that bleaching cream you've been using has done something to your brain. You just don't know what the difference is anymore. So let me tell you what the deal is. Next time you call my phone, I'm going to use some of that lucky and miserable wealth I have and lock you away somewhere you won't have access to bleaching cream for a long time. You hear me? That's all. My love. Who was that? Listen, I think it's time we cut to the chase, okay? What do you, what are you doing with Brown? I could... Doom, calm down. I calm down for what? I'm tired of him calm. Listen to me, Doom. I'm not listening. It's a zebra crossing situation, black and white. Are you, are you not dating Brown? Are you going to me? listen to me? Listen to what? You think I don't know what is happening? You know what? I don't know. I should have had my head checked. Doom. Are you by chance saying that I'm dating Brown? You're obviously dating the man for him to be saying the things he's saying. God, what did I think I could trust you in the first place? Do. God. Look, listen, I don't care. I really don't care if he threatens to make Jesus die again. Alright? Mona stabbed me at the back. She has to pay for that. Oh, yes, she has to pay. She too has to feel the pains of a subtle breakup. No, she has to pay. Alright? She will be the worst for it because by the time I am done with her, she will not have anywhere to go to. 
I have the money to do the job. And I want it done no matter what it takes. So, go on with the job. Get it done. Brown, uh, listen. There is nowhere in this world where it is a crime for one to call someone on the phone. Oh, so why are you freaking out? <sighs> All right. Get it done. Thanks. Stop acting like a child. I'd rather deal with lateness than deal with rudeness. Listen to me. I'm not one of those girls that will throw myself or my dignity at nothing. You call this nothing? You call messing around with, with brown nothing? Fine, go. I think I don't know where you're going. Probably going to end up in his house anyway. You both deserve each other. The retard and the sneak. Go on, get out. Go to his house. No. I'm so lonely, man. Come on. You're lonely when I'm here. What's, what's wrong with you, brother? What's the problem? What do you mean you're, I'm lonely when you're here? No, that's the problem. Are you a woman? Am I supposed to be comfortable with you? Now listen up, D-U-M-E. Don't you ever start with a can't finish. Huh? Is that a threat? No, it can't be. So it's a big deal, man. It's just a lousy game. Listen, it's Saturday afternoon. We're two vibrant young men. We got papers in our pocket. What are, what are we sitting around the house playing chess for? Let's go out. You know what? I'm not following you out. Why do you have to do that? Why are you always doing that when things are not working your way? And grow up. Let's go. I'm going home. You want to go home? Yeah, I'm going home. I because can't I stay. Want, you've been whipping my house all morning. And let it be. Then go home. I'm going home. Gladys and Brown talking on the phone about Mona Lisa and something that has to do with breakup. Yes, I did. You're sure? Of course, I'm sure. I, mean, I, I was there with her. I heard everything. Well, if that's true, I mean, if what you heard from the telephone conversation is true, you are sure of it then it is incumbent upon you to save that drowning star before it gets too late. Judging from your recounts and what the press presented as the cause of his breakup, there is a link. And that link is a setup. And you've got to blow it up. Mm. No. No, 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 I... I don't think so. I don't think so because, I mean, they could have been talking about another aspect of Brown and Mona Lisa. Maybe a music deal or something. So I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't think so. Are you so sure? I mean, Gladys is desperate about Dumebu. Don't you know that? Or don't you know what a desperate woman can do? <laughs> well, I, I don't know. I don't know. Taro, I don't want this to go beyond an in-house chit-chat, okay? Just between both of us. No other person should hear this, okay? Well, it's okay. Whatever. Just sit yourself. All right. I'm going to make her sit this one. Well, frankly, yeah. Yeah. these guys are in trouble. 
I mean, whatever you do, the press follows you. They publish everything about you, your private life, even to relationships and breakups. <laughs> but not so now. <laughs> That's what it means to be a star, man. You, you have to pay the price. You know, easy. To be a star, no easy. No, no, no. As in, this press man will follow you everywhere you go, even when you're going to your toilets. <laughs> <laughs> What are you doing to yourself? What sort of thing is this? Do you want to kill yourself for a man that doesn't love you? He doesn't care. He has not even asked after you. Just look at the drugs and the meal I served you before going to church. You still have not touched them. Hmm? I'm sorry, Divine. Divine, I'm so heartbroken. I feel so sick. My dear, don't be sick. Don't be heartbroken. I'm there for you. I'm always there for you. Just sit up and eat something. Mm -hmm. My dear, please. You have to sit up and eat something. Mm -hmm. You have to eat something. Please. Just eat something. Mm -hmm. Just get up. You know we don't have money for hospital, please. Mm -hmm. My dear. Please. If I, if I don't want to kill me, don't want to kill me. Don't want to kill me. Do maybe I thought you were different from others. I thought you were different. But you just don't have to be the same. God help you, nothing happened to my friend. God just help you. Come here, come here. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I'm there for you. I'm always there. That's why I'm your friend. They say, but in your own situation, it has become a routine. A comparative analysis of your situation now shows that you've crossed the Rubicon. You've been heartbroken for five serial times. Five. But I think it's also a point where a lot of people get jilted, devastated, and deranged as to resort to committing suicide. But my brother, let me advise you. Before you do anything stupid, think twice. I should have said, see you later. But judging by your situation, I seriously doubt if you're going to make it till I come back. But if you do, I'll see you. And if you don't, I'm going to miss you. At least I'll live to remember there was this friend of mine, Frank, who lived with me in the same house, fell in love with one bitch called Gladys that messed his life up, and he even ended up losing his life in the course. But my brother, like I said before, before you do anything stupid, think twice.
the time for me to sit up and strike you real hard. Real hard. Mr. Michael, right? Can I help you? I'm sure you're from the press. No one addresses me like that. Oh, no, nah, no. Nah. I'm not a press man. I, uh, I just have some, actually, simple information for you that I know will interest you. Very simple information. I don't follow. Well, my name is Frank, and I used to be Gladys' boyfriend. I'm afraid I have no business with Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait. I know you don't have business with Gladys, but she seems to have business with you. You, Mona Lisa, Brown, and the entire breakup saga. Well, I still don't follow, really. Well, it's a setup. Gladys set you up. She used Brown to tell whatever to you that made you break up with Mona Lisa. Of course, you wouldn't ask why she would do that. And what makes you think I'll believe all that? After all, you could be playing the part of the dumped boyfriend. <laughs> well, you're right. Actually, you're right, but I'm not lying. Okay, I'm telling you the truth. I know this, and I'm very, very sure of it. You know, my instincts tell me you're not lying. But even if it's true, it's a little late. I mean, the wrong is done already. No. She's gone. No, 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 no. It's not late. It's not late. Trust me. You just need to think straight and focus, and you can still do something about it. Frank, right? Yeah. Yeah, Frank. Um, did you come with your car? Uh, no, no, I didn't. Perhaps I can drop you off somewhere close. All right, no problem. Just uh, anywhere at the junction will be fine. Great. I want to completely destroy the both of them. Cook up stories, make it look nice and sweet. Right now, the baby is very, very desperate and he'll be ready to listen to anything pertaining to what sort of stupid relationship they're having. So what I want you to do is, I want it in such a way that they can't stand the sight of each other. Do you understand? Make it, try and cook it up in a way that... What? No. Same what? Huh? Say what, you lying conniving bitch. Say what. That's what you do. You just sit about there. Plan other people's downfall. Well, it's caught up with you finally. And as for you, what is it, Mr. Brown or Red? In this case, I think it is after Mr. Black. I'm going to take you to court. You won't do no such thing, you know that. Who's going to believe you? This is the first time you're talking with me, right? So what the hell are you talking about? If I, I should be the one talking about pressing charges against you. You should know that. Oh, but for real? Sure. Yeah. Can you believe this clown? Can you imagine biting into my office without due and prior information or what? In fact, um, I don't know your name or whatever. I need privacy here, so I want both of you to leave my office right now. Somebody's about to kill you. You beat them. Right. 
So what you got to say? Hmm? What? Bloody horror. Man, listen, what's, what's your problem? This is not the problem. This is just a bust up where men stop. This is where the problem is. Did, were you just talking to me? I said you should. I'll call the shut up! This is my office. Yeah. What? So what will you do? What do you want to do? I'll call the security. You want to call security? Talk now. Things will start happening to you from everywhere right now. Talk. Speak one word into that mouthpiece. Go ahead. You want trouble, huh? He's a bloody coward. I'm telling you, Koboko, that's the solution here. But let me bring it to No call, no nothing. As for you, boss up. You see your Why didn't you tell me we were down? Come on. The things you said to me were totally hurtful. I mean, I didn't expect that you'd tell me things like that. I'm sorry. No, I just said stuff. I'm sorry. Hey, hey, hey. Let's not waste time. Let's get going. Just get out of here. I mean, there's no need for this. Yeah, I'm tired. Oh, no. No, we can't go. I mean, Divine. She will come here looking for me. You know, after my injections, she thought I was going to be admitted. Um, uh, let's pick her up. We can pick her up somewhere. Yeah, yeah. We'll call her and then we'll pick her up. Okay? Yeah. Are you sure? Of course I'm yeah. sure. Okay. Listen, Sorry. I'm taking you out of this country. I'm going to marry this woman outside. It's crazy in this place. Yeah, I'm Sorry. Doom, after your reality TV show, I knew you weren't going to last here long, but we'll miss you, Duff. Yeah, on to bigger things. That's life, you know. Well, I miss you too. You've become like a brother. Yeah, yeah. You know, what's paramount on my mind right now is how I'm going to combine work on these two tables. I'm telling you. Yeah, come on. You're capable, man. Come on. Listen, if anything, and I mean anything pops up on that exotic mind of yours, allow me. Okay, we'll make it work. Yes, that's okay? you always. Try to blow my trumpet. Trumpet? Dude, you're that good and you know it. You're some, some kind of freaky, wiki genius I can figure you out here. Yeah. Listen, I hope you make it to the airport. It's alright, man. Um, let me give you a light. Alright, thanks. It's another shutdown of my history. Time to move on. Hmm? I don't want this to go beyond the in-house chit chat. I was just uh, about to have to do that just to this one so I can hopefully make it. I was just about to have to.
when you find someone you love.